what makes you think run in your mind when talking to a new partner date pretty much anything you look at and think i can fix him or relatedly but he won't do that with to me no you can't and yes he will she started talking about being allergic to cats i have a cat she said i could get rid of the cat if it would be getting serious i ended the date on the spot calling themselves alpha and complaining about beta male culture unprompted big old red flag how they treat other people like servers or bartenders went on a date with a girl and took her to my old workplace where i used to be a server she treated my old co-worker like absolute shit and tried telling me not to tip her cause she was so bad and she doesn't need it when i put 40 dollars on the table she tried taking it so i picked it up and walked over to my old co-worker and gave it to her also the mysterious type the come and find out the you'll have to wait and see the you're not ready yet it tells me this person is waaay less interesting than they want to look like and or they are hiding something sordid continual contrariness where the intended effect is i am interesting and different a free spirit but the actual effect is this person is way too much like hard work i mean you expect shit testing but when everything seems like a shit test whatever happened to enjoying someone's company they rip off their scooby-doo mask to reveal a writhing mass of tentacles and pincers one time a guy showed up to pick me up and was already drunk i did not let him drive me and another time i was on a date getting to know each other and i was talking about my brother and his husband and the guy literally had his face flush and said you have a gay brother and you support that date over when they mention your future children grandchildren on the first date i'm a god-fearing virtuous woman just about every christian woman i've met turned out to be anything but god-fearing and virtuous when guys sexualize my job i'm a nanny babysitter i hate when guys talk about it sexually like him i wish you were my babysitter i call them the relationship hoppers in my opinion they run away from their pain and avoid facing their wounds hence why they feel the need to immediately get to know somebody new they are also often really bad at being alone with themselves but no matter how far or fast you run your pain will get to you and everywhere you go there you are when they say all of their exes are crazy when my new partner decides to suddenly run away from me when they try to casually mention how much money they make or how much money their family has there's nothing wrong with making good money or coming from money but i don't like it when i get the vibe that someone is using it to try to impress me bringing up zodiac signs and assuming my personality based on my birth date rather than actually trying to getting to know me real story the guy spent half an hour straight checking up my ascendant sign after my zodiac sign to make assumptions about me right to my face boy get a life first please if you meet them whilst they are dating someone else but their relationship is coming to an end you two are getting on real well all of a sudden oh they won't leave you for someone else oh no they will yes they will if they complain non-stop about how miserable they are they're not going to get better in a relationship it will only get worse sexual double entendres when you've literally just met and aren't quite comfortable with each other yet hi i'm very fertile